Okay, this is Steven again with TXGates.com, helping you navigate the complex world of custom gates and gate operators, all in the effort to help save you money. Okay, today I'm going to talk about the basic issues on a Patriot. If you're going to have problems, these are the most common problems. Okay, first of all, so I will call this problem solving basics because these are going to be the basics. All right, let's just say that your gate isn't opening or closing. It just won't do anything. Now you want to start with your battery because I've seen it that the terminals are loose and you're just not getting a, a good connection for it to open or close. So confirm that your uh, terminals are both tight, which use a screwdriver or a crescent wrench to tighten those down but these are tight tight enough for the demonstration that we're doing and then second of all you have 15 amp fuses this is a single gate so you only have one power plug going to your actuator which is the motor that opens and closes your gate if this was a double gate you would have a plug for each of your actuators. Again, that is the hydraulic looking tube, which is not hydraulic, but that's what people call it a lot of times. But this is your actuator. So a single gate has one actuator, a double gate would have two actuators. And this being a single gate, we only have one actuator. So this is plugged into gate one, and you have a 15 amp fuse. So you wanna check that fuse. Uh, you want to pull it out. If it is bad, there's a U-shaped piece of metal in the fuse that will be burnt in half. If the fuse is bad, it'll physically look bad. And then down here we have your reset button. You want to push that in. Now, whenever you push it in, it doesn't stay in or, or it doesn't really click or, 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 or do much of anything. So you want to check your terminal Make sure that they're tight, check your fuse, and check your reset button. Those are the three basic common issues with the Patriot One. 